you know, and I really, I just wish uh, he could have had all the support that, you know, I received from Michigan. And, uh, you know, and I think things would have turned out differently if he had, you know, gotten a fair shake. Do you think he got a fair shake from the time he got here? No, I mean, you know, when he got here, I was in the hospital, laid on a bed, and, uh, you know, he came in just to, just to let me know that uh, he was thinking of me and just to, you know, get through those hard times. And, uh, and even then, you know, he, uh, you know, it just seemed like people didn't want him. And, you know, that's not to say uh, it's an excuse for how, you know, things turned out, but uh, the circumstances, you know, just were what they were. And uh, I think things could have turned out a lot differently. Brock, is there a part of Rich Rodriguez that the public just never knew that you got a chance to know and understand and appreciate that you think was, was lost and missed? Yeah, I mean, um, I think he's just, he's always just been shown as a villain and, uh, and he's nothing like that, you know, and I mean, he's one of the greatest guys I've ever met in my life and, you know, and I wish people would just acknowledge that and whether or not he, you know, works out as a Michigan coach is maybe a totally different story and, uh, as little as I know about football, I do know, um, you know, his character is much different than what, um, people have played it out to be. Please welcome... Brock Wheeler.